Welcome to the Resbatang vlog. Uh, it is pizza night in the Ring household. We are making a pizza that came from our Blue Apron box. And we're kind of celebrating tonight because we had our first goal of 10 subscribers by the end of October and we hit that yesterday. So now we're working toward our second goal, 20 subscribers by Christmas. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. We're to all your friends, so they do as well. That's right. So we're going to go ahead and make this. So as you know, the Blue Apron has all the ingredients and then the directions here. Um, you just basically go step by step. So the pizza dough had to be taken out ahead of time, which I did. And I have the oven preheating to 475. So we just need to go from there. All of the meals came with their own little bag of ingredients. I have garlic and some tomatoes and the cauliflower I have to get up. So we'll go ahead and just start. We made one of these dinners last night and actually it kind of takes two people because there's a lot going on. We've got like some almonds, some roasted red peppers. I don't think I've ever prepared cauliflower before. What do I do? I just like break all these things off and then wash them. Cut and the discard beds. the stem in and leaves. Yeah. Uh, we have some basil pesto in here. Nutrition, nutrition fat. Some sherry vinegar. Some parmesan. And some capers. So the estimated time is 40 to 50 minutes for this one, which is one of the longer recipes. Yeah, see it kind of falls apart. Little olive oil on it. Roast the pan for 25 to 27 minutes. That's a lot. So still not up to 475. So we'll set that aside. Looks like while well, the gar uh, cauliflower is roasting, we're going to work on the pizza. So this has already been oiled, which is step one, oil the pan. There's stuff falling all over the floor. Is that, is that stuff I asked you here with the earlier? Using your hand, stretch the dough to a one quarter inch thickness. The dough is resistant. If the dough is resistant. Let <laughs> rest for five minutes. Bleeding the resistance. Drop the dough into the sheet pan to coat the bottom in oil. Okay, so we're uh, just going on down to the store real quick. We're gonna grab some uh, a bottle of mozzarella while we're here. This local Harris here, she's right down the road. Hopefully, nobody cares that I'm walking around with a video camera in the store. Uh, just seeing. Oh, it's right here. I thought it'd be somewhere else. Lots of goodies. We should just buy two because we're going to get one. Alright, that was a pretty quick little trip. So now what we're doing is we're getting into the car. We're going to head home and then we'll finish up doing the rest of the uh, the pizza in a few minutes. Alright, see ya. Pepper dust in my face. 
this out you two here's the coolest trick ever all this paper and stuff on here it's always such a pain in the butt throw to tr the yeah just throw it in the sink you don't even need it it's always such a pain in the butt to try and get all this off of here especially once you start getting down to you know right where the the garlic is on the other side I guess it's like paper or something peeling it off is kind of a pain so here's the cool trick just put it in something like a little Tupperware dish put the lid on Make sure it's on there, it's in there, and you shake it so it hits the sides really hard. So you're just like... I'm not a fan of this because it dirties the dish. Dirties the dish? Look at that. Or I could have just peeled it and not washed it. Comes off. Okay. And it's fun. So you go ahead and cut that up. I am going to put the sherry vinegar in here. Yeah. vinegar in. Alright, so I just smash it with a knife on the side. It says, finely chop the clove and then use the flat side to smash it into a paste. Okay, so make it like little pieces and then the little pieces get smashed. I don't know if I like papers. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, in reality, I don't even know what exactly a caper is. Is it like a, oh, like a, little, like a little seed or something? Or like a tiny oh. pea. Oh, I was going to say, like, like peas. Okay, so we've got the capers in there, vinegar, and then that garlic paste. And then drizzle with olive oil and salt and pepper. Everything has salt and pepper on it. I wish this was like smell of vision so that... I can smell the garlic. So this is kind of a lot to do when you come home from work. How long have we been doing this now? Mm, quite a while. Woo! Looks good. That almost looks like it does in the picture. Actually, it almost looks exactly like it does in the picture. All said and done. Here's what we got. Pesto, zucchini. Sure. It's close. Yeah, see? Let's close so I don't know if you can even see that. That's what the picture looks like. And then... Looks pretty good. I'm excited to eat it. How about you? I'm excited too. Yeah. Ours is a little more green than the one in the picture. Um, that's... Quite right, because it's mostly best of us. So. Yeah. All right. So I think that's a wrap. We are going to eat because we're starving to death. So again, don't forget to subscribe. Help us reach that next goal of 20 subscribers. And until next time, adios. See ya.